question program part one inheritance learning target I can create classes using inheritance or I can create a program using inheritance now let's take a look at the question class hierarchy when we talk about a question a question can be a different type a question can be a fill in the question a multiple choice question a numeric question or a free response question so we are going to create a super class question and then we are going to create subclass choice question and give a multiple choice question in that so let's take a look at the question class the very first thing when we talk about a question class a question means it displays the question that's the text of the question and then it checks if a given response is correct answer so when we talk about question we need to know the important two things one is the question itself and one is the correct answer for example the question is who was the inventor of Java and the correct answer is James Goosling and we can get a response from the user and it's going to check to see if the answer is correct or not and once we check the answer it will return true or false so when we talk about a question you need to have two things one is the question itself that is the text and that's going to be of type string because your question is going to be a string like who was the inventor of Java and then the correct answer that's again going to be a string and the correct answer is going to be James Goosling so these are the two private instance fields that a question class would have now let's take a look at the methods so the methods the first method you need to have is set the question so we're going to create a method set text that will set the question so this method does not return anything it just sets the question set answer again this method sets the answer for this question and it does not return anything check answer now this method will check a given response for the correctness and then of course it will have to return true or false based on the answer if the answer is correct it would return true else it would return false display display this question display method now this method will just print the question or display the question your question class will have two private instance fields text and answer and then it will have set text set answer check the answer that's of type boolean and then display the question implement your class with the following instance fields and following methods once you're done completing your class come back to this video and we would work on question tester class now pause the video complete your class question tester class so when we talk about a question the question we know that it will have two things one is display the text of the question the second is check if the given response is a correct answer in a question tester we're going to instantiate question object we're going to ask the user for you can input a question or you could ask the user to input a question and then you could invoke methods to set the text and the answer using the set text method and set answer method you could invoke the method to display the question you could get a response and also invoke the check answer method to check to see if the answer is correct and print the result for example once your question tester is complete your output may look like who was the inventor of Java your response would be you type in the answer and it will return if your answer is true or not so pause this video, complete your question tester class, 